Hey, good afternoon. Dave here. Today I'd like to talk to you about a modification I made to our four poster uh, deer treatment system for the uh, uh, prevention of Lyme disease in London Britain Township, PA. Uh, basically our system consists of paint rollers on posts that are then treated with a 20% emulsion of uh, permethrin, permethrin solution. It's an insecticide. Um, the bin here contains eight five-gallon buckets of corn. As you can see, the corn is then fed into this trough. Uh, the deer come by, stick their snouts into the trough to get some corn, and in doing so, they rub against the roller, which has the permethrin on it, and hence get permethrin on their necks. They then go off, and over the next hours or so, they groom each other. They lick each other just like cats would groom each other. And that spreads the insect insecticide further around their body, hence uh, killing a whole bunch of ticks. We treat in the fall and spring of each year uh, in order to break the uh, tick breeding cycle. And so far it's been pretty effective in our township. Uh, we do see some ticks now and then, but we think we've uh, definitely reduced the population drastically. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is I have a modification to the post system. Uh, I found that this is the actual original system where we have fittings screwed into the base um, and then the one inch PVC pipe is then fitted into the fitting. There's a cap on the top and everything is fine, except mine were breaking. I, they were snapping off at the bottom. Um, we did use some spring-loaded uh, posts. However, after a few years, the springs, in my case, corroded and they actually bent into a uh, fixed position. And so instead of having a vertical post, I had one that was leaning back like this. So I went back to the original system. This side is working fine. However, the other side was totally destroyed by the deer and I had to come up with a solution. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about now. I'm going to swing this around to the other side. And you can see, here's the trough with corn in it, and here are the two uh, holes that had female threads on them. This one still has some threads on it, but the fitting broke right off at this point. The deer just snapped it right off. This one actually got stripped, and so I no longer can use the uh, threads on the inside of here. So, what to do? Well, thought about it for a while, and I came up with this solution. I took a piece of cedar um, wood. It's about half an inch thick. This was part of my trim on my house uh, that I took off when I made a modification on the house. I then drilled two holes in the bottom to accommodate a one inch and a quarter screwed fitting right here. I glued that fitting into the hole and then glued the two one inch posts right into the top of the fitting. So I now have this device. I then placed it in here and notched out about a, oh, maybe a half a square inch to accommodate a bolt. I have a bolt in my pocket to show you. It could be an eye hook, it could be a bolt. This is a screw bolt. I drilled a pilot hole, put the bolt in there, and then I put another bolt on this side over here. That goes in like so. The two paint rollers go on top. And then we have two caps, and these are just snug fit. They're not going to come off. 
unless I want them to. Uh, then, being a cyclist, I have a bunch of old inner tubes. I never throw anything out, as my wife will attest to. So, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the inner tube, wrapping it underneath the bolt, bringing it around underneath the other bolt. I'll show you that in a little more detail in a minute. <clears throat> and so now, I have a system where the deer can now feed, they can push against the roller, getting permethrin on their necks, yet they will not break my system. All right? No metal parts except for the two bolts, which can easily be replaced, and I think it's going to work. It's been working now for about a week. I know that's not enough time to say it's going to be foolproof, but at least I got the system working again, and hopefully we can keep the, dick, uh, the tick population down for the foreseeable future. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you this from a slightly different view, and uh, then I'll sign off. Here we are looking at it from the front and you can see the bolt on the bottom with the inner tube wrapped around the bolt one loop only and there you have it well thanks for watching talk to you later bye bye